everybody it is 741 right now and I have to get to the alignment shop which my appointment's at 8 o'clock right now and I'm in my work uniform because I gotta uh, get back to work I mean we'll go to work right after I don't even know when's the last time I got an alignment that's the thing oh my god race car vibrations hitting that to beeline brakes and alignment on uh, down Balboa towards PB, right under the freeway, I think the 5 freeway. Yeah, heading there now, so let's roll. Thank you. because all this shit but I mean safety first oh. go ahead I'll let you go 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 ahead oh shit you're turning fuck uh like my weird shit and I got to go the AC because I took it off for the alignment and um, the location where the alignment shop is, is really bad is towards PB and the driver is really fucking steep and leaving it is really steep too and actually when I left the driveway like this I think I hit my tranny on the floor I'm not really sure but I'll check that uh, later when I put the splitter and the um, bumper back on but um I just got alignment. I didn't record any footage of my car getting alignment because they didn't want to be filmed that ass, but they said no. But anyways, I got alignment. The car feels a lot better and more responsive because I haven't got alignment in ages. I've done a lot of suspension um, adjustments and stuff, but I never got another alignment. And this rear, this rear right here is finally fixed. It's uh, not crazy to out tow in. I got the front sit at zero tow. The rears, I'll let them do it because they've done to my car many times and I just use the specs that I have from last time. Also, one thing that I get asked a lot is what is this? A lot of people think it's a brake duct but it's actually air duct for my intake. And how I did it was I went to Home Depot and bought uh, AC, uh, it's for air conditioning. Air conditioning hose. And this is, I think is a three inch? Three inch, because it fits literally right up in that crack hold on let me yeah it fits right up in here but i recommend buying a comtech uh, ice box um, there's a lot of companies that make it it's more efficient this is just being cheap i mean it works whatever works to save you money you should do it i kind of like having no bumper and no splitter i could leave my driveway and go everywhere with no issues i literally just ram through a driveway with, like nothing i could leave my driveway with no problems because they're uh, construction workers that are working in the middle of my street and there's a shitload of steel plates 
But every morning when I go to work, they're blocking literally half the street. So there's only one direction on my side. And leaving my driveway is really steep because there's a car parked right next to my driveway and another car parked on the other driveway. But like, they're, I'm literally driving through the middle. I'm not able to angle enough, so having no bumper, no splitter just lets me get out of the um, driveway a lot easier. So I might just leave it like this for now, but we'll see. I'm sorry if there's a lot of sounds on by the road. So. I think that's the trolley above my head. That's it for this video. I know it's not me working on my car. I don't know, let me know if you guys, I mean, I know you guys like to see me work on my own car and stuff, but sometimes there's nothing else to do and then I just kind of just want to talk, so. And I'm trying to keep this three day, three to four day thing, uploading videos. You gotta keep that YouTube grind, you know? One thing is, you just gotta keep uploading. Just keep uploading and slowly, your fan base will grow, subscribe, subscribers and stuff, because a lot of people ask me how come your channel hasn't blown up yet. Well, I just started the channel not too long ago, and I guess you just gotta wait for that one video to blow up on YouTube, and that's when you get known. But for now, under a thousand, but subscribers are subscribers, so you guys are the OG subscribers. So keep that in mind. And hopefully in the future, the channel blows up, gives me a lot more opportunities to do a lot better things. And I feel like it's kind of hard growing a channel because I own a Civic, you know? Ricers. That's what they're known as. Having a Honda Civic, you're known as a Ricer, but, or whatever. But yeah, keep in mind, there's that group of Ricers out there, and they're, I don't know if this is catching on the wind noise from all this. There's a group of Ricers and there's a group of uh, Honda enthusiasts, which is like me. I enjoy Hondas. I don't really talk shit or bag on other cars. Unless they're rocking real wheels, or I mean fake wheels with real stickers, or fake wheels like Rota Grids with T37 stickers. When I see that, of course I'll talk shit, cause come on, I got real teeth. Can't be like that, you know? I'll probably be making more branding videos of topics or stuff that I have in my head. So, I mean, it's up to you guys if you guys wanna watch it or not. But I do wanna make this channel a lot more open, as in like, not just me working on my car. I wanna have daily vlogs, I wanna, have stuff that I could talk to you guys about or just me in my um, personal preference or what I think about certain things. So one thing is, I'm gonna make a video about the Conjo thing. You guys probably know about Conjo, Conjo this, Conjo that. So this is just gonna be the end of this video. And yeah, hope you guys watch this all the way through. And I got a lot more stuff coming for the car. I'm gonna be ordering new coils. And these coils on the car, I don't know why I pointed it at the car, but you can't see it, but my coils will be for sale soon. They're not gonna be expensive because nothing really holds its value. I might be parting out a couple things off my car. Just Well, main thing is coils because I need to get new coils. These coils, I had these for a while and they haven't blown yet, but still, I just gotta get rid of them. But yeah, okay, enough of me talking. See you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.